in, in mindfulness and grief is what you do. So can you explain how we, are, we that's a buzzword, mindfulness, right? Yes. Live in the moment, live in the now. And But how, <laughs> how does it apply to grief and, and how can our listeners maybe learn something from that or maybe take some steps to help themselves? And it is very easy to be mindful when you are on the beach at your dream vacation, all your loved ones are alive, you have plenty of money in the bank, there's no pandemic and everything's perfect. It is so easy to be present in that moment. But what happens when it all falls apart? You know, what is mindfulness then? And mindfulness is about giving you the stability to be with even the rough places. So sometimes mindfulness gets defined as being present just you know being aware being awake but there's there's a second piece to mindfulness that can get stripped out when it gets too clinical and that's the it's having a compassionate attitude to whatever's arising and so one of my favorite quotes is from the researcher John Kabat-Zinn meditate great meditation teacher great author and he says in Asian languages the word for mind and heart are one and the same and if you are not hearing in some very deep way that mindfulness is heartfulness, you're kind of missing the point. 